Today is a very special episode with a very special person. We are excited to share this special gratitude episode with you today. She showed us how to be grateful. She demonstrated gratitude throughout our lives. And today we're dedicating this episode to the one and only Misty Young, AKA our mom. We're talking leadership this week, and one of the organizations we are so proud to be at the helm of is the Neuroencoding Institute. We got to co-found the Neuroencoding Institute alongside Dr. Joseph McClendon III, amazing world-renowned neuropsychologist and incredible mentor and teacher. If you're at all interested in learning more about what the Neuroencoding Institute does and what it can do for you, please visit neuroencoding.com. You're enjoying this episode on Angel Phoenix Productions Podcast Network. To explore a complete lineup of quality programs and media production services, head on over to angelphoenix.com or like our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash Angel Phoenix Productions. All right. Today, we're not just dedicating the episode to mom because we're grateful for her. We're also dedicating it to her because it is her birthday today. Happy birthday, mama. (laughs) We love you, mom. We're so glad to get to celebrate you. And we're so grateful for you. You know, one thing that you taught us growing up was the power of gratitude. And you didn't just tell us about gratitude. You demonstrated it through written thank you notes, through expressed conversations with people, through acts of kindness and love and altruism. And with your time and effort and money, you have shown us reciprocity and gratitude every step of the way. You know, I'll never forget one Christmas we were driving here in Reno and mom, we stopped at a stoplight and mom saw that there was a wallet sitting in the middle of the road and she stopped the car at the red light, got out of the car, and grabbed the wallet. When she opened up the wallet inside, she saw some vouchers for uh, food stamps um, and some things inside that would indicate that the family was struggling financially. And so what she did was she went to Walmart, she bought a bunch of Walmart gift cards, she put cash in the wallet and then returned it to the police station where they then contacted the family to let them know that their wallet had been returned. Now she never knew this family, she didn't leave a phone number, she didn't seek any kind of recognition for this, but this is the beautiful servant heart that lives inside our mom and that she never holds back her demonstration of the thankfulness for the blessings that she's been given. Right. Those kinds of acts don't come out of an angry heart or a uh, a depressed spirit. They come out of a grateful person. And that is definitely our mom. In fact, watching her over our lives, her her gratitude and her appreciation only deepens and she oftentimes will just send loving text messages or videos or phone calls where she's expressing deep, deep gratitude and appreciation. And uh, being on the receiving end of those never feels bad. Doesn't. In fact, it it. only deepens our relationship (laughs) with her and makes us feel better. So as you're looking to deepen the relationships with the people in your life, remember gratitude is a real big connector factor for you. So now today is our mom's birthday and she taught us a tremendous amount about gratitude, but that's not the only thing we're grateful for. She also demonstrated to us what an independent woman can look like, what the power of education can do in someone's life, how being motivated and using your willpower to grow yourself and your family out of poverty and difficult circumstances can be done. And we are so incredibly appreciative as we look back at our lives and as we understand more and more, especially from the perspective of being mothers, how much she's done to set us all up for success. In fact, now we carry on and demonstrate many of those same traits to our own children and helping them to understand how to stand on their own two feet, how to go after their dreams, how to be bold. Mama, you take risks like I've never seen somebody take risks before and they're calculated sometimes, Um, but sure am grateful for your level of risk tolerance and the way that you've helped to 
lead not only our family, but other people out there who might be scared to act on their dreams. And you've done it, you've demonstrated it, and then you turn around and you've told other people the stories and helped them avoid pitfalls on the way. Mom, you've gone through a lot of hard stuff and you've benefited so many people around you, including these two young women right here. We would not be who we are without you. We certainly would not be as far along in business without you. Our lives are changed and better because of you. We're so grateful that you were born. We're grateful that we get to be in Brookings with you right now, celebrating birth thanks mess, your birthday, Thanksgiving and Christmas all together as a family. And our mom is actually best known these days as Gaga. <laughs> she certainly is. To our five children, Gaga is the best grandma in the whole wide world. And mom, we are so appreciative for you. Happy birthday. This episode is dedicated to you and comes to you with love from your daughters, Kay and Shy. Love you, mom. This podcast was a production of Angel Phoenix Productions. Explore more episodes of this show or other great shows on the Angel Phoenix Podcast Network by visiting angelphoenix.com. The views expressed in this show do not necessarily represent those of Angel Phoenix Productions or its advertisers and may contain language that's unsuitable for younger listeners.